There is no shortage of nightlife in Boston town, so we had our work cut out for us. A quick walk from the Aloft Hotel, there is a cool subterranean bar called Industry, where they have real-life ice butchers. Who knew that was a thing? After a few primers, we cross town to the Beehive, which is a swank, jumpin' jazz lounge where you can hear some world-class jams for absolutely no cover. Sweet. At this point, we headed over to Cambridge to the Speakeasy Barcade. Yeah, you heard that right. It's a bar and an arcade. It's a barcade. You walk through the fridge doors of the kitchen, and you're greeted to childhood nirvana. But with booze, so it's better. So we downed two shots, shook hands with the owner genius, and grabbed a sack of happiness, where I proceeded to destroy Brad at Street Fighter. Brad then turned the tables and rocked some old school pinball. My boy's wicked good at pinball. This place had it all. We really could have spent most of the night walking the alleys of nostalgia sipping cold brew, but alas, we had more to see. So after a few more games, we were off to our last stop. A late night show at the Rockwell in the happening Davis Square was our final destination to see Shit Face Shakespeare, which we were appropriately smashed for. So much so that they pulled me onto stage and made me a horse. You can tell it's me from the fear in the eyes. We also ran into this girl. Did you hear the WOW Airlines competition? Yes. And do you believe that I won the air? No. no. Why don't you believe it? I need to see proof. Brad tried to bring up some confirmation on his phone, but alas, could not. So we were unable to convince her that we were the lucky two that won. But maybe she'll see this video and swear her opinion. Who knows? Thanks for a great night, Boston. It was awesome. Hey there. <laughs> Sorry. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Check out one of our other cities. Yeah. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you got any comments or you want to see something, down below.